Thank you for joining me today. I'm so happy to be here. I'm looking at all the fun stuff behind you. Oh, I'm Geekly Amanda on all my social. So I have all the little trinkets and everything. Oh, yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Fun mom. My audience that don't know you, but I don't know how they don't. I know, right? <laughs> you even wore your... You even wore the signature lipstick today. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> this is Glozelle, and she is famous YouTuber. Also starring in a new The Glozelle Show on the Million Stories. Um, I have, I guess I want to start out, and I need to know, uh, is you okay? <laughs> Somebody asked me. You know, I was thinking, like, everybody's going to ask me that. You're the first one? Yeah! Uh, <laughs> yes, congratulations. Yes, is you okay? Yes, I is good. I'm getting better all the time. Thanks to MillionStories.com, the Singleton Foundation who run Million Stories, and the Glozell Show. I'm yes. so excited about that. So yes, I is okay. <laughs> oh, that's good to hear. <laughs> you look okay. You look good. You look good today. <laughs> so how did, well, tell me, how did you get involved with the Million Stories and the whole project? MillionStories.com, they uh they're a great, it's a great website, it's a great site. Uh, the Singleton Foundation, they are, they are on it. They understand money and finances and budgets and they want to really help people. And they created millionstories.com, millionstories.com, yes. And they have a lot of different shows on there. And I was on the show Faceplant and I'm telling my story, you know, and they're like, you know, there's something there. You know, and they kept in touch, which was really great. And we, we've done a few projects together. And they're like, you know what? And I'm always, I'm just telling them what's going on in my life. You know, we need a show. They're, they're like, because a lot of people, especially when COVID hit, a lot of people are in this situation where, you know, you're, you're riding high or at least check to check. You know, something was coming in to uh, like all of a sudden. And that's what happened with me and YouTube, like all of a sudden. So yeah. now it just lined up to where everybody in the world understands like the money just stopped like okay we're just gonna go on lockdown for three weeks well that you know that's three weeks of checks for somebody or mm. almost you know like for us a lot of people yeah. and oh and also we're just gonna close the schools down well now you gotta who gonna watch the kids i still you know like it's just so much Listen, you know I'm, and i'm, I'm a single I'm mom virtual I'm virtual school and four kids over here. I know how I feel. Yeah. Four so. kids. And you and you are fortunate to to be able to work from home. Mm -hmm. And and a lot of people can't. And is mm -hmm. and even at that, you know, you still need your outlet. Like mm -hmm. they close parks, you know, like mm -hmm. at least you can let them run outside, you know, if, if you didn't have a yard. I don't have a yard. And um, and I was hiding. I was basically hiding from, you know, the the landlord, anyway. <laughs> like, keep the lights off. You know, like, don't, don't. Shh. But, uh, so, it, that's that's where I am, and I'm telling my story, and I'm glad that Million Stories, I want a million stories, mm -hmm. and the Glozo show is, is birthed out of that. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I first watched your face plant, you know, little segment there, and you, you got deep and personal, and, uh, I mean, look, you had me, I was like this, I was tearing up. So how hard was that to do to just tell your story, especially when it comes to stuff like finances, which people don't want to talk about? No, people don't want to talk about finances, especially when you're not balling, you know? <laughs> and then when people think that I am, you know? Oh, you over here, <laughs> but damn it. Oh, that. No, honey, no. Uh, yes, well, at that point, I, I was just so tired, you know? Just, I, I'm like, I don't have, I don't know. I can only go up if I'm going to go up. If not, then this is my story and this, I'm just gonna lay down here. And so I'm just telling it all. Just, mm -hmm. I have nothing to lose. I feel like, you know, the protozoa. I feel like the lowest, you know, life form at that point. And I, I'm, I'm telling it and I felt good, you mm -hmm. know? And I felt good like, like, oh, you know, this story might help somebody. Great, cause I don't know how to help myself at this point. And that's where I was at that point telling that face plant story that you can get you can watch on millionstores.com and also the glozo show is there on millionstores.com well i mean i would think now you have a lot to tell people right i mean going through all that so what is the biggest advice you would give somebody you know making it big or just youtube or just in life like like i said so many people are struggling now 
You've been oh, right. what, what, what kind of advice would you say? Number you one think? advice is that, you know, I don't care how big or small, especially when you're on social media, like Vine was hot. It was big. It was huge. And then er, it was, go- you know, mm-hmm. it was gone. And I forgot the name of the thing that was. And everybody had a friend named Tom before YouTube came along. Like MySpace. Things- my, my is that what you're my <laughs> Hello. Oh, my. Don't say I'm too old. <laughs> oh yes, MySpace. That's a picture of me and Bob Barker out there, you know, from the you know the game show there. Uh, I remember thinking, this is so cool. Uh, MySpace, and that's gone. So yeah. um, I think it's gone. Uh, I would say you need to know where your money's going. Okay, if, and it doesn't even have to be a lot. Cause I know people who like it was a waitress and, and save things and they have a house. I'm like, I'm bought, I, you know, I have a lot of money, you mm-hmm. know, and I'm hiding from the landlord. You know what I'm saying? Like, so you know what to do with your money. Mm-hmm. I, I, I just assumed that it was going to keep coming in or uh, where was I? Cause I'm not a kid, you know, <laughs> but it was like, Oh, I got some money. I don't have to borrow from this person and that person. Like I'm going to fly here. I'm going to do first class. I'm going to do it right. You know? And I'm, now I can look at the pictures like, remember when? Because right now, you know, that, that's, you know, I can turn on the fan. That's the only way I'm flying right now. Like, goodness gracious. But uh, I'm, I'm, going, I'm coming back. And, and, and the Singles Tim Foundation is, is helping me through the Glozell show. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, you're coming back. You got the, your own show now, the Glozell show. So tell me about this. What kind of things are you going to talk about? What kind of guests you are going to have on? I want to know it all. Cause I watched the first the first episode of it, and you had your friend uh, who was a YouTuber, right? A, yes, a yes. YouTuber back in the day. So, are you going to focus on the YouTube thing, or are you going to have different guests on? Or, well, you know, I'm open to uh, you know making suggestions. What What do you like? Uh, we the pilot is out there, and mm-hmm. we're we're seeing how that goes. It's it's going great. And uh, I love that, the format of my, my friends here. And they're telling me, you know, this is what, like, I'm in shock. Cause, the, you know, cause Candy didn't know. I'm literally like, here's the eviction notice. Like what? And I've talked to her at two o'clock in the morning. She's one of those people who really are my friends, you know, but I wasn't telling them that part, you know? <laughs> like, yeah, cause she, she was shocked when, when, on your show, when you were telling her, she was shocked at, yeah, so. I yes. mean, and I didn't want to tell her because when we started, I was way more famous than she was. And uh, now I'm like, uh, I got to tell her, you know, like she's got her brand of makeup in several stores. You know, where's my lipstick brand? Why didn't I parlay fans into business? And, um, and people have asked about it, but I haven't, you know, uh, looked into it at the time. So I thank you for watching that that episode. That's our pilot. And I'm you know, make suggestions for what you want to see. You know, the, the Singleton Foundation, and we are all open. Yeah, well, look, I got lots. <laughs> oh, good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I mean, a mother of four. <laughs> well, I like the whole YouTube thing and stuff. And that was one thing I wanted, wanted to know if you were going to stick on the YouTube or, because you know, TikTok's the big thing now too. That's what, my kids are all on the TikTok. So, all right, were you going to branch out, like maybe talk to TikTok stars or, Oh, that with the, oh, the HUD house. That, what, what is that one? The, the HUD house with, with the Charlie D'Amelio? <laughs> oh, that would be so great. That's a really great idea. And, and ask them, like, oh, what are you doing with your money? And a lot of people, even though they're famous, that doesn't mean that they're making a lot of money. You know, also, they, they have a lot of hits. Because so each uh, social media has their own way of doing things. Mm-hmm. And, and even TikTok came out of Musical.ly. You know, like Musical.ly was big and then that went away and then here's TikTok. So I'm mm-hmm. saying like TikTok is huge and it's riding away, but so is Vine. And mm-hmm. you know, like you need to save for a rainy day or, you know, have a way to circulate your money, you mm-hmm. know, the budget or how, whatever it is you need to do because it could go away. Or like YouTube didn't go away, they just changed it. They just oh, changed I- how they did things, <laughs> you know? And all of a sudden like, uh, like wait what and I'm still I'm still balling up here but the money's like dee, 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 dee. you know <laughs> well I and that was one thing too like you talked about was it in your first episode about diversifying right don't yes. just go one thing on YouTube so what what are the other things you're doing right now I mean you, you got your show you still have your YouTube yes. channel right yes I mean, I, 
I definitely still have my YouTube channel, so please check me out. Click like. Those old videos are still there. And I'm, I'm also on TikTok. I'm also on Instagram. I'm also on Facebook. I'm also on Twitter. So, you know, I'm on those. And those are still going. So check me out. Click like. Of course, the, I'm on Faceplan. I'm on MillionStories.com. I'm on the, the Glozell show. And that, that's how I'm diversifying right now. And I'm on Cameo. That's one way. You know, I do shout outs. And because... People are inside. You can't go to graduation. So here I am, like, hey, congratulations. <laughs> you know, Amanda. Yeah, it's all good. Well, they said I have two minutes left. So let me let me get my last question in. And I want to know, like, so the audience watching the new show, what would be the biggest takeaway you want them to get from it? Oh, the biggest takeaway you can get from, like, uh, because people really want to be. Glozell, everybody wants to be famous. You know, mm -hmm. people don't even ask me, you know, they want to, how do I be famous? Like, you need to be smart too, you know? You be, you want everybody to be like, oh yeah, yeah, you know, I get that, but be smart. You know, uh, know where your money's going. Uh, definitely self-esteem, you know, and be careful what you put out there because once you put it out there, it stays out there. Cause a lot of young people are like, I'll do anything for hits. I just do anything to be famous, you know? Mm -hmm. So I, I would say just be, be careful, be mindful of your, your thoughts, everything you put out and know where your money's going. Yeah. You know, <laughs> whether it's a dollar or twenty dollars, you know, you like I said, I know a waitress who has a house, you know, I know a maid who has a house, you know. And like I here I am, I got degrees, you know, I'm smart, you know. But um that's 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 I, I've got degrees and, and I'm hoping and praying that like along with you like okay where, where am I going with this let's see how this happens and let's grow together so I, I, I definitely thank you for your time and your four kids I don't know how you do it because there's one child <laughs> there's one that I have that's four you know you have well, I have two I have two and then I do I virtual school you my niece and nephew, nephew oh. too, my sister's health care worker so yeah but oh. it, it's crazy in this time but I'm I'm just, thank you for taking the time to talk with me and you all make sure to check it out. The Glozell Show on millionstories.com and her channel. Yes, <laughs> please. She, yeah, look, she didn't get rid of that green lipstick. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Bye.